All right, guys, we're at the Rome Circle Society. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, the artifacts that were found uh, around Fort Bull. Um, I can't wait to see them. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe I get to hold some of these artifacts. I can't wait. Uh, fingers crossed. All right, let's do it, guys. So, so yeah, this is, uh, this is the plan of forts and, um, you know, where we were was Fort Wood Creek, yep. which, um, you know, was, uh, is also known as Fort Bull. Um, but then there were the other carry forts. You had Fort Newport, um, which was on the upper part of Wood Creek. And you also had Fort Williams and the Pentagon Fort or Craven, Fort Craven. Um, Fort Williams was the first fortification built. What year was that? 1755. Wow. Yeah. So Fort Williams and Fort Bull were the were the two um, two first fortifications. Were they here. similar in size? Um, as far as I've never actually measured it. Out. I have a lot of questions. I think there were more. I think Fort Williams was a little bit bigger and okay. a little bit more established. Like if you look here, they had like um, they had like. A, a saw pit and they had a smith's forge they you know they had uh gardens they had a brick kiln so it was a little bit more established as far as as far as that goes which yep. for for bull was just fortified storehouses really. okay you know so so yeah you would come up the mohawk and uh, as the mohawk turned north you could land here at the upper landing and then you could either unload your supplies or carry your bateau across the carrying place uh, if the water was high, you could get in rough where Fort Newport was. Uh, if the water was kind of like mid-level, you mm -hmm. could get in at Fort Bull, uh, Fort Wood Creek. And if the water was super low, you'd have to get in at Fort Ricky. What was like the average height of the water usually? I don't know. Okay. Um, but uh, a typical bateau fully loaded would draw about 15 inches of water. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's about uh, one inch per 100 pounds that they put in the bateau. Okay. So, um, so bateaus would uh, fifteen hundred to two uh, two thousand pounds of uh, goods they could uh, they could carry. So, you know, which adds up when you start. It you does, know, like cannonballs yep. and yep. things like that. You know, especially so. that kind of stuff. <laughs> but the plan of forts is really uh, there's there's two plans of fort plan of forts. Yeah, um, they're basically the same map, um, although some of the descriptions. Uh, change a little bit and they're really all we have um, as far as what the fort fortifications were we don't actually have plans for any okay. fortifications 
but it's really cool because you know there's a key on here of course you know um, F is the gardens but you know when you start talking about say this fortification uh, the Pentagon Fort or Fort Craven it talks about how much cannon what cannon were mounted on which bastion and oh that's cool you know, so so it's pretty cool once you start reading the description and although this version doesn't have it uh, in the text uh, the other version of this map actually says that Fort Wood Creek was situated on the location of Fort Bull. And we talked a little bit about that, yep, right? Yeah, we did. You know, we talked about Bull it. Yep. Under it is a little Celephalus. Is it? We didn't know that it's in its area, right? Yeah, so yep. it's situated on the location. So that, okay. you know, that's pretty much. Uh, you know that's that's more evidence that you know uh, along the lines yep. of the stuff that we're finding as far as material out there, right? Yeah. So, so anyway, we'll go over here, and uh, I'm gonna open this up for you today. So, you know what? Let me let's flip here because okay. I'm kind of I'm kind yep. of the, that's fine. yeah the shadow. So. So we were talking about um, the material that we found, cannonball. Yep. Right. So you had cannonball, um, grenade. Oh, that, the grenades, right? Grenade. Yeah. I was like grenades. Right. Yep. Grenade fragment. Oh right. wow. Okay. Um, and then we also have um, brick, which we talked about, and we know that yep. they had a kiln, right? Yep. Um, this was a this is actually a nail and a piece of melted glass, and we believe a tooth. In there, a tooth, yeah, like a human tooth. For, no, probably a woodchuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, does it doesn't look like a human tooth. <laughs> no, so, um, and then of course I talked about clay, you know, the pipes, yep, yep, right? Yep. Which was the cigarette butt of yep. the, you know, the 18th century. So, oh wow. But today I want to give you a little special. Let me pull this out a little bit. So, an opportunity, and uh, you want to hold this cannonball? Yeah. All right, six pounds. So, take it on. Wow. Get out of the light there so you can. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So when we were talking about like the weight of, you know, the bateau, oh, yeah. right? I mean, how many of those, could, you know, six pounds, if you can max out at 1,500 total so cool. with the people, with the guys in it, right? So the guys are yep. probably 150 pounds to 200 pounds. Wow. So you found this right there, huh? Yeah. So that, this, now this material was found. Um, going back a number of years. Um, so what's kind of cool is this one is actually found, found, you can barely see it, found Fort Bull 1891, I believe it says. Yeah, 91. And there's actually a little flag. So there. it was found in 1891. 1891. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So this has been part of our collection. But, you know, these are, uh, we found many of these out there since with, the, with their cow. archaeology. And that's with the um, metal detector? Or uh, th th this, I don't know. I mean, this is pre-metal detectors. Oh, okay. Know? No, I mean so, the ones that you do now. So the ones that we find now is is um, the archaeologists use not uh, ground penetrating radar. To I was gonna say, yep, that, you know? yep. And then to to home in, yes, we use metal detectors to home in, and then we have to do ground. Holy cow, that's so, crazy. But um, this is a grenade, and we know <laughs> as we talked about, like, so the 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 British, so like the French are attacking the fort, right? Yep. The British are in the fort throwing grenades at them. That's right? crazy. So I imagine never throwing, thought. imagine throwing that, and it doesn't have the powder in it, so it's actually lighter than what it would be. Wow. You know. Yeah. And it would, and it would add the, go, yeah. the fuse going too, right? And you know how long it took for it to go all the way to the fuse? Don't know, and we don't know when it when it would uh, explode. What it's, whoops, 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 it's your whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> what it's uh what its area of you know how okay. how far would this you know go out twenty you feet you could probably 25 do the feet. string certain length if you wanted to go longer you could probably, yeah yeah you, you probably could you know but if you're throwing this out right so you gotta go up over the fort wall yeah it's fifteen to eighteen feet high oh my god unless you're on the fort right yep. if you're on the fort maybe you're throwing it down but this is hitting the ground and either it's getting stuck. <laughs> Because right. it weighs so much. Yeah. Because it weighs so much. Yeah. Or it's starting to roll. Remember how the fort yep. was sloped? The ground was sloped. Maybe it's rolling. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah, if it gets it, into the yeah. pond, you know, then it just kind of fizzles out. I was, that's what I was going to say. What was, like, um, the accessory of actually exploding since the charge is on the outside? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I what, what we do know is that a number of these fragments were found. So and, obviously and they so, did work. So, yeah. so some of them did work. And a lot of them were found... 
Um, most of them were found with the archaeology, um, kind of like along the pond of Fort Wood Creek. Oh, so so, so it would be it would make sense if the gate was on the Fort side. Bull yep. was on the south side of the fort, and they're throwing it out, um, and maybe again it's rolling down that down slope. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we found a number of these these fragments. Um, here, check that wow, it's crazy. It is. Just the history. I mean, it's right, just right. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know when this was found. Um, I don't think anybody marked it. Oh, was it marked? Plowed up uh, three quarters of a mile west of Fort Bull. So. This might 1850, 1885. 1885. So this wow. this would have been um, so three quarters of a mile west. So this would have been between Fort Bull, Fort Wood Creek, and um, Fort Rickey. Oh right? wow! Okay. Right. So this might have been a munition that um, maybe wasn't in the attack, but actually like you know fell out of a bateau. Or it did or, fall in the river and got fell, washed down. That that could have happened too. So, um, but you can see like there's kind of like this gold. Yeah, that, that's they right. Did, they did a lot of that kind of that kind of thing in the late 19th century, where they would mic, mark their finds. You know. I wonder how. So they were just walking around. Were they actually like looking for? Yeah. Artifacts? So so back in the 19th century, when it was farmland, they were plowing up a lot of. Things, oh, okay. Yeah. Right? But also the kids that were out there would you know they'd be playing, playing the around or whatever. There, yeah. So and they would find stuff all the time. So there's stories, actually newspaper articles about. Um, the children um, coming into town with buckets of cannonball, buckets oh my of, God, that's of musket crazy. balls that they would find and they would sell them probably for, you know. That's cheap. funny, for so, some candy or something. Yeah, for some candy, <laughs> yeah. right? Because um, to them, it was just pretty much It's junk. just amazing. Like, when you say grenades, you think, like, nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, right. grenades, but you right. never, I never would have even thought, like, right. when you mentioned throwing grenades, I'm like, throwing grenades at that time? <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, um, so here's again a brick fragment, you know. So, so a lot of times, and and uh, our number one archaeologists out there are, are the woodchucks, right? Yep. So they'll dig <laughs> these up, and we find we have found a lot of brick. Wow. So we know that there was a kiln uh, on the east side of the carrying place near Fort Williams. Um, we don't know, you know, how much. Uh, what exactly the brick was used for? Maybe the fireplaces. Yep. Right. Uh, maybe some walkways or hearths or something. But um, we have found quite a bit of bit of brick. Now, did they make any of the weapons usually in these forts or any? No, most of the weapons Is came it... from long, great, great distances. Wow, that's crazy. Um, as a matter of fact, some of the muskets that ended up at at Oswego um, were old, old Dutch. And, uh, design and they failed a lot. They failed. They what, failed. what failed on usually? Failed so on. You, usually the mechanism, you know, the firing yep. mechanism and everything wow. would fail. So um, that was a that was a huge issue early on. Um, but they were they were going out to um, a lot of the different for you know, armories. Yep. You know, so New York City would have, you know. 20 different cannons in various sizes and they'd say okay we need five of those to go to albany and three of those to go to oswego and you know so it's kind of like what we do today right yep. you know we we pull our our uh our, our weapons of war from different places yep. in the country so it's a very similar similar kind of thing so this is um this is a piece of uh we believe melted glass oh wow so it was probably it was exposed to extreme heat now, um, whether it's Fort Bull or whether it's Fort Wood Creek, because we remember Fort Bull's attacked, it blows up. It blows up, remember that big, but, yep. but Fort Wood yep. Creek is set on fire yep. a few months yep. later as they were retreating, so we're not really sure. Um, wow, that's crazy, I get to hold it instead. Yeah. yeah, and I believe it has like a green green tint to it. Maybe look at it from the side. The side. Yeah. Oh, it does, yeah. yeah. Wow. So. Probably the thing that we find the most too out there are, is nails, and then the clay pipe, right? So this is a more fragile, but yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. careful with that. And this is what they used to smoke, yeah, out of yeah. Now what do they put the? What would they put in? Just tobacco or yeah. anything? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Now was it popular back there? Did everybody oh, yeah. or just like oh, the yeah. higher ups, like the generals and stuff, did it? No, everybody. Everybody did it.
So when you see the the, the diameter there, yep. okay, that's usually how you can date it. Um, this one hasn't been measured, but um, and it can't be. You know, you can get within fifty or hundred years. You know, but you're not gonna you're not gonna say, oh, that's seventeen fifty five <laughs> exactly. You know, that's so, insane. Here you go. I'm so, gonna give you that. Yeah, yeah, but you see, it's you know, it's it's. You it's know gonna when, be long, right? You yeah, know? Do you know when that was found? Um, that was actually found um, 2012 ish. 2012. Wow. Um, this stuff here, 2012. This was found probably 2012. Uh, let me see what. That, yeah, 2012s are our. our uh, that's our collection number. Oh, so. Wow, that's crazy. Um, now this is a pewter cup, and we're not sure if it's uh, Dutch, French, or German of origin. Um, wow. And it could have come from um, either Fort Niagara when it was uh, after it was attacked in 17, attack, yep. 1759, or maybe Fort Frontenac when that was uh, raided by John Bradstreet in 1758, or it could have been much later. But um, yeah, check that out. Wow. <laughs> and it's heavy. It's, yeah, it's got a little weight it's to it. A, yeah. Yeah. And it has like a, a design on yeah. it. And yeah. Wow. This is crazy. That's awesome, yeah. man. There you go. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. So does that round out your... Uh, yeah, because I definitely okay. want to show everybody that what you yeah. guys found and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, cool, cool. It's, you know, when you get a chance to hold... hold I, it's it, something... It, 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 it does. It changes it. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. Um, you know, but again, these are, you know, we talked a little bit about the uh, the archaeology and stuff, and, and this is a good representation of, of the types of things that are being found out there. So, yes, yeah, so in, in that, um, which is available online, that, that map. Okay. But it shows, it, it shows the, um, the expeditions that were kind of launched from Albany and the Mohawk Valley. Um, so you have out to... You have up to Frontenac, 1758. Yep. You have Niagara, 1759. Um, and then, of course, you have this, the actions in Nova Scotia and ultimately uh, capture Quebec and, and all of that stuff. Um, so, and that's what they really sought to do in 1755, but they were not able to do it. So it, it's still really three, four years be, uh, before they... Uh, Four years, really, before they're able to capitalize uh, on their um, on their fortifications and then offensively yep. uh, act against the, the French. They went all the way down to here. Yes, yeah, so that was early action. So yep. that was when Washington, uh, George Washington, went went out into the Ohio uh, country to uh, basically tell the French to get out of there. And, um, the Battle of Fort Necessity, he ends up surrendering. George Washington? Washington. Wow, yeah. okay. He was a young Washington. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. and then subsequently the British sent uh, 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 Braddock, uh, Brigadier General, was he Brigadier General? Full, full General, but Braddock out to uh, capture Fort Duquesne. Of course, he gets, he gets uh, ambushed, and the plans of attack for the British end up in the French hands. So. So that's a good, that's a, a artist rendering of the upper carry. So that would be um, Fort Williams. Yep. Repicketed the uh, um, construction of Fort Stanwix in the distance. Wow, that's okay. crazy. And then, of course, we're talking about the sawmill. Yep. We're talking yep. About the way, but you would get out, you come up, and this is where the Mohawk River's turning. Um, you know, it's coming out of the north and turning uh, east. So you come up with your bateau, and you'd either unload and, and load onto sleighs or wagons, or you transport your bateau over to Wood Creek using uh, drays, they called them. Okay. Um, but this is Gary Zamboli's uh, rendering of, of, uh, of what it, it's the a beautiful part picture. of the Gary. Yeah, yeah. It really tells a lot. It does. It does. So that would have been 17, early 1758. You know, wow. or maybe summer 1758. 
It's crazy. And that and this is the Mohawk you said, right? This would be the Mohawk, okay. right? And it's the Mohawk and you're looking almost due west. Now did they like you said that they dammed it up kinda? Like so the creek? Wood Creek they would. Not now the with the Mohawk, this it's no, okay. No, the Mohawk they didn't have to do that with. So yeah, they had enough water flowing. That they didn't have yeah, to do that. Yeah, but Wood Creek is where they they had um multiple dams um to help with the bateau. Awesome. Anything else over here you got? So, this is kind of cool. Um, again, this is Fort Stanwix. Okay. Um, so you're seeing Fort Stanwix. Uh, I think this is 1760. Okay. Um, so this is two years after construction's been been going on. It's, the fort's not completed yet, but you can see how, again, they're expanding on that complex. And you have the ruins of Fort Craven, kind of mid, mid picture. See so okay. Fort Craven down yep. there? So that's the ruins of Fort Craven. But you have that sawmill, you have those gardens, you have all that stuff that's that's still being utilized. Um, you can tell the difference in the size too of the forts. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Wow. So and then yeah. another rendering of Zambolus. Yeah. Looks like an old book. So that's a Bible, um, John Roof, who was uh, one of the first settlers here. Holy cow. Yeah, so uh, it's his, fam uh, his family Bible. Uh, and supposedly they were here during the Siege of Fort Stanwix. Wow. <laughs> that's that, of course, that's 1777. But yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. I appreciate yeah, of course. you showing me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to, you know, I, I look forward to uh, to seeing your video and, yeah. and all that stuff. I got to put it all together. So. Yeah. So, over on this side here is uh, Griffiths. Oh, I bet you guys have a lot. Yeah. So there's, there's quite a bit over here. Griffiths Air Force Base, yeah. right? Yeah. So. If you guys want to check out any cool a cool place in Rome, check out the Rome Historical Society. There's a lot of stuff here. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> the number would be right here. <laughs> Talk to Director Simmons. <laughs> Director Simmons, you need to talk to. Talk to Director Simmons. Yeah. All right, guys, just got done checking out all that cool stuff. Oh, that was awesome, guys. There's no words to explain how awesome that was. Actually holding something that uh, somebody way back then held and just the history of it is just awesome. I can't thank the Rome Historical Society uh, enough for letting me do that. Um, if you guys want to contact them, uh, the number's right here. Uh, they do take donations, so uh, if you can donate, please do that uh, because it's just awesome, especially saving history. Uh, it's very important. Um, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to the video, I mean, subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, if you guys please like the video, it helps out a lot. Uh, that being said, I can't wait for the next one. Later, guys.